The, welcome back. You're still watching The Breakfast right here on uh, Plus TV Africa. And we have a very interesting conversation ahead. Uh, the information and communications technology sector is very important in today's world. And of course, the countries that are leading uh, the economies of the world today have that sector as very, very dominant in whatever they do. And one of the important aspects of the information and communications technology happens to be the tech startups and how are tech startups in nigeria faring how are tech startups in africa faring and how have they evolved over time we have joining us to look at the evolution of tech startups in nigeria uh, the chief operations officer of tech point africa ifai indi ome wese also with us is kola wale olu wanifemi who is a, a senior reporter with tech point africa good morning to you and welcome to the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Thank you so much. Good morning. All right, welcome. Um, let, let's start off by by finding out what exactly TechPoint Africa is. Okay, thank you so much for having us. Uh, TechPoint Africa is a media company. Like I said, we are um, the gatekeepers of the um, technology ecosystem in Nigeria. We, find, we realize that it's important that what we do um, to gather everybody in the ecosystem and show that people are, you know, rightly informed. People are following the technology trends in Nigeria and also Africa, and people are able to find this information where they want them. So we are able to provide all of these things to uh, the different players in the ecosystem, both the enthusiasts, both the um, information um, service providers, everybody, we're connecting everybody together. And that's like a very important aspect of what we do as the gatekeepers. All right. So, so when, when you say you are a media uh, company, it's a, uh, obviously are you, you print, or is it a 360 uh, degree media uh, organization where you have the website, you look at videos, you look at um, print. What's the focus in, in terms of the media? We're basically online. Online. Okay. We do um, everything online from from text to videos. Like we're basically um, an online media company. All right. Interesting. Uh, um, so so let, let's look at tech startups in, in, in Nigeria. I mean, we hear of countries like Kenya, you know, it's a startups. We used to hear of um, uh, Ghana, South Africa, Rwanda in Africa, you know, and the uh, fact that uh, maybe Kenya was the Silicon Valley of, uh, of Africa. Uh, how is Nigeria faring in the tech ecosystem in Africa? Interesting to say, I, I think Nigeria, you know, is currently, you know, topping that um, that position, if I'm, to, if I'm to use that word. Uh, we've seen the growth of startups. We've seen the um, activities around the ecosystem in Nigeria over the last two, three years. When you look at the funding reports, when you look at the number of talents coming into the, you know, you know, coming out every day, when you look at, you know, people, you know, who are trying to get into the tech space, you realize that in Nigeria, it's, it's a whole lot, right? So w one, one indices I can, I can use is the funding reports. So as of 2019, we had um, Africa raised a total of 1.3 billion, you know, um, in the last two years, 2020, 2021, that figure has jumped to four billion. Sorry, you, you tech guys, the way you call this, this you know, money, you know, billions of dollars, you no know, seed funding. I didn't hear you. How many billion? So in 2019, that figure was around 1.37 billion. Okay, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. And then in 2020, 2021, we're looking at four billion, and Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria alone has raised about 1.37, right? Wow. So that's about you know. Um, Nigeria, like a startup in Nigeria, raising at least a million, a million dollars every two hours. That's a lot, and that's that's really very, really very yeah. exciting. Yeah. Okay. And okay, no, no, go ahead. Okay, so and, and one of the things that is you know that is creating this um, this drive is because of the you know the innovation. You're seeing the kind of um, solution that you know people are coming up with, right? and these are solutions that are really solving problems. These are solutions that will wow your mind. Right. People are now looking, people are now going very deep into like, you know, solving real problems and then going out to then, you know, look for the kind of partners, the kind of, um, you know, um, technology platforms that enable them to be able to do all of this. And this is all, you know, part of that, you know, um, um, should I say, um, celebration that we're seeing because people celebrate funding a lot but there's a lot of work that goes on in on that yeah. scene. Okay. So so let's also bring in the senior reporter who's also here. And uh Kola Wale, Olua Femi, am I correct? Okay. Olua ni femi. Olua ni femi. Okay. Now, now let's talk about 
tech, you know, tech companies and the solutions they provide. Different tech companies provide different solutions. So what is uh, Tech Point Africa providing? Uh, what solutions are you providing in Nigeria? Yeah, so basically the solution encompasses all what other tech companies are doing. Because what we do is shape the narratives of what they do, the problems they see, and how they are solving them. So our product, our solution is telling people the story, make people get aware of what tech solutions in Africa are, because um, Africa is, is new as it were into the tech scene compared to what the Western world uh, that they are doing, right? But when people don't have the knowledge, when they are not aware of what they can use the internet for, what tech tools they can use for to solve our basic problems like um, getting food on the go, like getting food on demand for instance, you can connect with um, a, a, a caterer online via platforms, you can order for food via say Jumia food, right? But people might not know this if we don't get the news out, right? And there are some problems that we feel like they are just uh, our, our daily problems that we just have to go through. But tech is now here getting um, both on, on the go, like getting um, on demand taxi on the go, right? When I was coming here this morning, I had to do that. But if I was not aware of that, I wouldn't be able to do that. So the product we are offering is getting people enlightened about what tech solutions are capable of doing, even though we've not get, gotten to the length that Western world are. So that is the product we are offering to Nigerians and Africans at large. All right, indeed, uh, tech is making life easier. Yes. And imagine how we would have gotten to work uh, at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Exactly. if there was no right healing up. Exactly. But we'll send you an invoice for, <laughs> for that company. <laughs> and and, and, and when you do that, you're also <laughs> able to follow the news while on the go, like just yes, be able to yes, follow. It's making things faster. And let, let's talk about tech point build because we're almost out of time what is tech point build so tech point build for me is um, west africa's biggest um, conference we west africa's biggest conference yes what so, kind of conference is it so it's a technology conference and a startup conference where okay. we where we talk about you know um topical um conversations that borders around you know um, people's life and how technology is making it better people's businesses and you know what they need to be doing better you know um you know, different areas of technology and how people can also apply them, you know, um, how, you know, technology um, ecosystem can, you know, can better understand their challenges and then come together and find solutions to them, right? So tech point build for us is that way of doing that. And we're also supporting, you know, startups in our own way too. Like, like we have a pitch competition where we give um, a, a startup $10,000, you know, the pitch, and then you have participants, the pitch, and someone goes on with $10,000. That's, that's money that could go into solving, you know, moving the needle, you know, when, when it comes to like operations for the company. That's so, a lot. Yeah, it the is. The way you're, you're, he's calling the money is really strong, you know. It's, <laughs> it means that the, the tech ecosystem is really, it's really creative. Yeah. Um, 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 where, when is, is, is tech point here? Is it happening? So it's happening on Saturday, January 22nd at Landmark. Where's Landmark? I mean, Landmark is at um, Legali Ayoride. Um, Victoria Island. Okay, okay so, so you just go to Landmark. Yeah, you register at build.techpoint.africa and then you um, choose either of the available um, ticket passes. There's a, there's a general um, fiscal ticket pass, there's a VIP, which is, has already been sold off. Sorry. And then there's a, an online. So if you want to join us online, you can also choose um, that as well. And we've had very, you know, very good number of registrations. Well, so ju just as we coast it down, uh, for someone who probably might just be in doubt and saying, why do I have to attend this event? What are the benefits? What do they stand to gain? Interestingly, our team for this year is the next frontier. And that is, you know, like it's looking at the future, right? When you, when you look at the advanced countries, you always, you, you appreciate what they do because they think ahead. And we're also trying to do something similar by saying, look, we have technology here. We have startups doing a lot of stuff, interesting stuff here. But what is the next thing? How does that affect you? Like, do you think your business as it well will be obsolete in the next two years? Do you think your technology will no longer be relevant and you no longer have customers in the next two or three years? You don't. You want to be here where we bring in all of the um, industry stakeholders to talk about, you know, what's the, what's the state of their industry right now and where should it be in the next two, three, four years? Right? And that for us is like taking the next frontier leap. And 
of course, if you're if you're passionate about technology and you feel like you know your business runs you know on the technology as we know it, then you want to be in that kind of a conference. You don't want to miss it. So it's not just going to be a talk shop of people talking about what they think or feel, but people will also get educated. Exactly. They'll get informed. Exactly. Really, tell us a, a bit about that information. Okay, so uh, like I said, um, the conversations, you know, the future of education. The future of you know financial tech in Nigeria, the future of travel, the future of um, um, health, education, like and these are these are important things because you you you, you don't want to you don't want to work in silos. You don't want to you don't want to be building something and all of, all of a sudden you know it's it's no longer existing, right? You want to you want to know that you're on the right track. You want to be able to see the next pay stack in a different way from Fantastic. our conversation. The next pay stack, I think yeah. I would love to be a co-owner <laughs> of the next pay stack because uh, oh, uh, they're way. minting money. <laughs> but um, um, someone is listening right now and saying, no, I'm not a uh, tech enthusiast. Um, I don't know whether I should attend. Who should attend this Tech Point Build Africa holding on Saturday? Um, I, I would say for everybody, especially if you have interest in technology. But crucially, we're looking at, you know, um, People within the health sector, people within the uh, media and entertainment sector, people within the um, education sector, people within the travel businesses, right? As long as you know you use tech, one way or another. As long as your business, you know, runs on the internet, you want to be there, right? And if you and if you also want to just learn, like you feel like, oh, like I'm just curious about what's going on in the technology space. I mean, it's it's, it's a good learning ground for for a lot of people who are in that space, right? Now. All right. Okay, so, so so we're costing it down now. I mean, just uh, as it is, can you kindly take us through the details of the event again? I mean, the event again, the date, the time, and uh, if there's going to be a gate fee or it's just a free access. Okay, it's a free access. All you just need to do is go to the website build.techpoint.africa and then register. Uh, you can easily get either of the three t two ticket pass right now because one has been sold out, which is the VIP, and then. Um, you can get general pass ticket to attend um, physically or general pass ticket to watch wherever you are. Probably you are, you are in America, you, are, you want to follow us, what we're doing, you can also do that. The theme for the event is the next frontier, and this is where we're talking about the future, basically. All right, thank you very much. Um, that's the budget you can take. Uh, Ifani Indio Mewese is uh, the chief operations officer of uh, leading tech media company in Africa, Tech Point Africa, inviting us to be a part of Tech Build 2022. He was not alone, of course. We've had uh, uh, Kola Wale Olua Nifemi, a senior reporter at Tech Point Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you for having us. All right, we'll be right back. Uh, still ahead, we have conversations coming up uh, on two on one very important uh, uh, topic right here on The Breakfast Mercy. And of course, we'll be looking at the AKT elections ahead of the elections in AKT State. All of the stories and all of the actions building up to the elections. We'll continue the conversation when we return.